worried that whenever we go through. <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever worn a ghillie suit before, it's usually thick, it's really hot, it's uh, not comfortable whatsoever, you're bulky, you just feel like you're like snagging against everything. It's not a perfectly exciting experience. Some people that are airsoft snipers don't even wear ghillie suits because they just don't think they're effective, and sometimes in some situations they aren't. If you're an aggressive sniper moving a lot, then a ghillie suit isn't going to help you at all. If you're a sniper that's really laying down, get stealthy, get some hides, and stay still most of the time, then a ghillie suit will work for you, but you have to get one that's the right coloring, and most of the time that means custom making one and spending a lot of time on it. And if you're not experienced in ghillie suit making, it's difficult to make one. And that's where a leaf suit comes in. I mean, you can grab these things from your local hunting store, you can grab them offline, you can grab military grade ones, you can grab civilian grade ones. These, instead of using strings and natural vegetation that you would stick onto the suit, you actually are just putting on a little tiny mesh shirt and then on that shirt is stitched in fake leaves, which actually works extremely well at breaking up your silhouette, that outline around you, concealing all the gear that's on your head or your chest and back. So I wanted to test this because sometimes when people wear ghillie suits, it's super easy to see them. And I wanted to test if I got something that really matched my environment well, like this leaf suit, was it going to work? Was it going to help me in combat? So you mostly see people that run ghillie suits also running some sort of long range weapon like a sniper rifle or a DMR. I wanted to change that. I wanted a gun that I could shoot people at close range with to allow me to see really how close people could get to me without them seeing me. So let's see how this thing performs. In this game mode, we have to defend a tent in a forest. Now, there's a thicker area of forest to the right side of this tent, so I move about, I would say, maybe 80 yards away from the tent, and I'm laying down in a thick, shaded area of forest, awaiting the enemy to come on our right flank. My plan is to let the enemy get all around me and try to engage the tent, and then what I'll do is I'll strike them from behind. Almost as soon as I start looking forwards, I spot enemy contacts. This guy to the right is getting a little bit too close. I scope in on this one particular enemy because he's the closest to me, and I want to figure out if he's been alerted or not. Sorry. Sorry if I overshot you right then. You're good. Okay. 
Yeah, scope cam, you worked. Good job, scope cam. GoPro, did you work? Huh? Uh, no. Wait, what? Wait, what team are you on? In this game mode, my team is fighting the enemy team in a very open area with a lot of hard cover. Over on the left side, for me, is a large forest tree line that I can use to my advantage with the ghillie suit. Maybe we can use the thick shrubbery here to hide ourselves and get some long distance sniper shots with a submachine gun. In a windy day like this, having a low powered gun with lightweight BBs means that your BBs fly everywhere whenever any sort of wind hits them. So you really have to adjust your aim, especially with a low power gun. And with that is the end of the game. What I was doing in the left force was basically keeping the enemy team from really being able to push the middle of the area, which means that they couldn't really reach that center objective point in the center of their little town. I'm really not sure the entire time if I was detected at all, and the ghillie suit might have not really even helped me in this one, but it was still something to be said about I was still able to hit targets at like 200 feet away with a super close quarters vector setup. But with the help of a nice scope and stuff, you can really watch where your BBs are going and be able to hit far targets even with a low ranged gun. Anyways guys, that's the airsoft footage I've got for you today. We also have some really cool night ops gameplay coming up. Episode 3 is coming pretty soon, and here's a sneak peek. Bing, bing.